the concept of trees growing in such a harsh climate where it is just salt and scorching heat it just doesn't make sense and an entire forest growing in such a landscape sounds like an extreme idea something that would not exist in this universe but then you walk into a mangrove forest you realize how much it is true and how much life it supports the flora and fauna that lives within even in the bustling city of mumbai we have mammals like jackals and wild boars and smallest of sea slugs amongst all of these there's this one particular extra robust family we have the marine ecosystem here and we also have the freshwater ecosystem and the mangroves are exactly on the edge it's always like you know you get the best of both world specifically the fishes those who live in the mangrove ecosystem they have been adapted over the time to this particular kind of ecosystem While spending my time in the mangrove forests, I came across this tiny little flash, this hot flash of gold that moved. I moved the leaves away and I got this tiny little fish. It was evident and I was sure that this was a goby. But which one? I was confident about it. Shubham showed up in the BNHS with uh, a very interesting goby actually. And I was quite surprised because uh, this was this was the first sighting of this species for me. I went through the literature and I didn't find anything on this species. So it was uh, completely surprisingly new to me. when we started going through the literature we realized that uh, maharashtra coastline specifically the mangrove forest of the maharashtra coastline they are quite least studied for the gobi fish fauna so in 2018 i put those ideas on paper i approached mangrove foundation and they readily agreed to support this uh, you know a kind of unique and novel uh, project i used to regularly go and observe them the tiny little flashes of gold was nothing but just two males fighting amongst each other or just inquisitive about who could be this large human observing them from a distance i had just found out about these species and their existence in mumbai but within a span of a month or two one of the two places where i found them it was already decimated it was so easy for such a tiny little fish to get locally extinct possible and this was just a scratch on the surface in the last 15 to 20 years several massive patches of mangroves around mumbai have been destroyed i can only wonder about the diversity we have lost we started looking for the mangrove ecosystem throughout the mumbai coastline then we came across this particular fish It was living over there in the when there is a confluence bit of the freshwater streams and the and the mangrove ecosystem after going through the series of specimens and after all this um, you know extensive taxonomic study we realized that this uh, tiny goby is actually a tiger goby a mizulogobius tigrinus a kind of mullet goby which has been described from singapore and there are records of this species from singapore from thailand and from sri lanka and this current record of tiger goby from the mangroves of mumbai is one of the rarest record of this species from the indian coastline 
Finding the species again brings in hope. Possibly one location is gone, but there are still more places to protect. There are still more places to explore. I believe as researchers, as citizens, it is our duty to bring this into limelight.